can't say things are going quite swimmingly. <laughs> it's 2011, and Fear 3 is relying on the same scare tactics that the original game did back in 2005. Shadows of ominous-looking creatures flit about your peripheral vision, harrowing screams ring out from an unknown source, and every now and again Alma, the disturbing little girl at the heart of the game's narrative, will appear out of nowhere and just stand there, looking all weird and unearthly. Whilst this can, on rare occasions, be a little jumpy, it's never remotely scary. What is truly frightening, though, is the scriptwriter's inability to weave a coherent story. It's hard to be scared by something so hard to comprehend, after all. Even the talents of John Carpenter fail to save the narrative from the convoluted mess that it descends into. This doesn't stop Fear 3 from being a good game, however. Despite never making much sense, the narrative permits a rather interesting hook. As the game revolves around two brothers, two players can bro up and play through the campaign together. While Point Man is happy to rely on his guns and the occasional burst of slow motion, his brother Fettel prefers telekinetic powers, in particular the ability to possess enemy soldiers. <laughs> Regardless of whether you're playing with a chum or not, the gunplay remains solid throughout. Weapons are reassuringly chunky, and slow motion, even after six years since the original game, remains incredibly satisfying. The elite power armor from Fear 2 also makes a return, splitting up everyday stretches of gameplay with explosive, infinite rocket-laden mech scraps. Multiplayer gives the six to seven hour campaign extra legs. F***ing Run is arguably the most interesting of the bunch, which has players running away from a towering wall of smoke that pursues you relentlessly through Fairport. Standing in your way, however, are the game's cast of soldiers, ghouls, and zombie men, who will continually attempt to thwart your advances. Fear 3 is an enjoyable experience. The gunplay is solid, the multiplayer components are interesting, and playing as Fettel puts a really neat spin on things. Ultimately though, Fear 3 is another game that'll get lost in 2011 for being a little bit forgettable. Maybe if it inspired loss of bladder control in the same way the original did, or better still, how Monolith Condemned did, it might have been slightly more memorable. Fear 3 is sadly lacking in the fear department and has subsequently lost its defining characteristic. <laughs>